action. Well, check out this bad boy, folks. Well, remember that still FS36 weeder I got? Well, I don't have it anymore. So, Grep and I both now own this. But I might be the one using it more because because Grep can't steer very much. Steer's easy though. Yep, 50 bucks plus trading weed ear and end up getting this bad boy. It's just exactly like the uh, Rust Bucket Coast to Coast I had. Except this one's in way, way, way better shape. And look at that, it's got a 12 horse industrial commercial Briggs motor. Yep, even same everything from the Rust Bucket one. There you've seen in the older videos. Yeah, the one video I up uploaded last year, the Rust Bucket one. Yep, yeah, it's in awesome shape. And the reason why I got rid of it because it kept popping in the gear. So I took So I just took the panel off to see what would happen. And voila, it popped out of gear. Just gotta keep an eye on that shifter. The shifter must be sensitive. I think that's why it kept popping out popping in the gear. So got some old gas in it. Battery's dead. The solenoid only clicks. But I'm gonna hook up some jumper cables on my 86 Ford. It's even the same year, it's a 1990. Came with a grass catcher too. Which is awesome. Yeah, he said it runs great, which is good because I'm planning to fire it up here eventually. So I'm gonna hook up the jumper cables and try to start the bad boy. Yeah, I took the panel off. There, it'll shift a lot easier. So, let's go ahead and find out if she's a little start on old gas.